All right, let's go ahead and start making some op art. So the first thing that you'll notice is that I'm working with a pencil first. Sometimes when I'm creating demonstrations, I use a Sharpie uh, first, but today I am working with a pencil first and then I'll go back and outline with Sharpie. The reason I'm working with pencil first is because it's really easy to make a mistake um, when you're working with op art, if you're not paying attention, like super close attention to what you're doing. Um, so if you work in pencil first, it's a lot easier to erase your mistakes and try again versus if you were working with a Sharpie. So the first step is to somewhere on your paper, put a dot. It can be in the middle. It can be kind of off to the side. That's up to you. Okay. And then from that dot, what you're going to do is draw some diagonal lines that go from the dot to the edge of the paper. And you can use a ruler for this part or you can freehand it. And what I'm doing is just freehanding it. And what you need is an even number of lines. So eight lines, 10 lines, 12 lines. Um, if you have an odd number of lines, your optical illusion is not going to work because you're gonna end up having um, spaces of colors that are next to each other that are the same. And what we need is alternating. So I'm working with an even number of lines. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten lines an even number of lines. I would say when you're drawing your lines, eight is probably the minimum that you want. And I'd say no more than 12 lines, because if you have too many of these lines, things start to get a little confusing. 10 is usually a good number to aim for. So now that we've drawn our straight lines, remember op art is a combination of straight and curved lines to create that illusion. So here are our straight lines. The next type of line that we're going to draw are the curved lines. So you wanna start with one of your spaces and draw about three curved lines. You really don't want more than three if you can help it because again, if you have too many lines, things start to get a little bit confusing. Um, so I'm going to start here with a couple of lines and I'm going to curve them so that they're bending over like a bridge or like a rainbow line. So there's line number one, come down and leave some space between and draw my second line. And that space is a little bit small, so I don't think I need to add any more than that. Um, two lines right there is good. So now I'm gonna hop over to the next space and draw another curved line. But instead of a rainbow line that curves over, I'm going to draw a line that curves under. Okay, so I'm starting where my last line left off and curving under we go and I'm gonna go do the second one at the bottom here curving under there we go and then I'm going to move on to the next space and alternate so these lines are curving under so my next one is going to curve over okay now down here I do have a little bit of extra space so I think I am going to add one more line that goes right off the edge of the paper. Okay, I'm gonna hop over to this space now. Now this bottom line, I don't really need to worry about connecting because this line goes off the edge. So where it picks up on the other side, we can't really see that. So I'm not gonna worry about trying to connect that line, but I am gonna do these two because I can see those. Okay, going over to the next space, these lines are curving under, so my next ones are going to curve over. All right, coming over here, under. Now this one, if I curve it under like this, I'm not gonna see that. So it's going off the edge of the paper, so I'm not gonna worry about that one. This one, curving over. 
Now this one I could do under Okay, over, and under. All right, so there is my combination of curved and straight lines. Now when you're finished with this part, I'd like you to show it to me so that I can make sure that your lines kind of line up um, really nicely. Otherwise, when we go to color these, it's going to get, again, a little bit confusing. So we're going to take this slow, step by step. When you finish with your curving lines and they're all connected, just show it to me quick and then I'll give you a thumbs up if you're ready to start outlining or I'll give you some pointers and some corrections if you need them. Okay, so now I'm done, so I'm going to move on to the outlining part. After you have finished outlining with your Sharpie, then you can put this away. We're going to move on to the second part together next class. The second part is going to be about marking off every other space to create an AB pattern, an alternating pattern um, that shows uh, colored in black some spaces and then some spaces are going to be white. Because remember, op art has everything to do with contrasting colors, curved lines, and straight lines. So we're going to do that coloring part next class.